He told the leaders, achievers, hip hop believers, and our beefers. This is www.whereisthebeef.co.za, and you're watching Versus, where we take our favorite rappers, put them in the same ring, and try to establish which one is doper. Word up, my name is the overrides, the Where's the Beef butcher that controls the hype, and in the blue corner, we got Golden Shovel from Optical Illusion, and in the red corner, we got Zabs. So, here at Where's the Beef, we're trying to crown some. Africa's greatest lyricist of all time. For us to actually establish who the dopest is, we can only do that through your votes. So you can either you know, comment on the comment section below or simply log on to our website, which is www.waysthebeef.co.za. And yeah, man, for you to actually you know, be a part of the Ways the Beef family, to be a beefer, or to just you know, see exactly what's been going down with the work that we've been putting in, be sure to click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So when you shine the spotlight or Pass the mic to my man Golden Shovel. You'll see that he was a part of a South African hip hop outfit hailing from the Val with a group called Optical Illusion from you know Gauteng, and which consisted of a producer by the name of you know Bellcat, and he was also a rapper too. Um, MCs by the name of Logic. Genocide and you know Golden Shovel himself. Their first release as a group uh, came in 2000 with the release of their tape titled Thoughts Illustrated, which featured artists such as Jera, Flava from, from Squatter Camp, and an MC by the name of Mad Scientist. The tape was sold on the street by the group members and, and it had you know well received reviews from online and different magazine publications. So their second release as a group um, with their tape titled Definitive was the first official release. Their final release titled The Offering was released in 2006 by Outrageous Records and then you know um, my man Golden Shovel went on to pursue a solo career where he released his debut album in 2011 titled Lost Gospels and yeah that was my man Golden Shovel for verses. So when you pass the mic or shine the spotlight to my man by the name of Zubs, you'll peep that he's a Southern African rapper born in Kasama, Zambia in you know July 1976, that's when he was born. And he relocated to Harare in Zimbabwe to stay with his family. It was you know while growing up in Harare that he actually fell in love with hip hop and became an active contributor to the culture through high school variety shows. By the time Zubs finished high school, um, he'd already begun establishing his himself as a leading MC. And found himself you know performing alongside a whole lot of rappers including a group from Queens by the name of Lost Boys. He began taking hip-hop very seriously in the year 1999 when he graduated from Rhodes University and you know moved to Johannesburg. It was there when he began his hip-hop quest entering and winning a noteworthy MC battle at Club 206 and you know which gave him a formidable rep as a battle MC. Performing alongside Talib Kwali, Black Thought, Dead Press and Jerry the Damager at Black August in 2001, his affiliation with the media company Black Rage Productions became the key to his professional later uh, career later, and uh, Black Rage would establish the um, you know the outrageous records that everybody knows of, which led to my man Zubs being the first MC being signed under that label. So in the year 2003, Zubs released a mixtape called The Last Letter to create a buzz for his professional album. A year later, in the year 2004, obviously the buzz called high anticipation for the South African hip-hop industry and Zubs obviously rose to the challenge with his debut album called Listener's Digest. The album cemented Zubs' position as one of South Africa's best MCs, um, you know, leading to him getting a, uh, getting a South African Music Award nomination for Best Hip-Hop in 2005. A year on, his follow-up album, Headphone Music in a Parallel World, was equally and well-received, giving him a sick of successive summer nomination for Best Hip-Hop in 2007. When it comes to his discography, they are as follows. The Last Letter, which was a mixtape and that was released in 2003. Listener's Digest, which was an album which was released in 2004. Writer's Club, which was a CD slash mixtape which was released in 2005. Headphone, in a, Headphone Music in a Parallel World, rather, which was an album that was released in 2006. Kochila, which was you know one last letter, and that was released in 2009. That was Zubs' side of this, of you know the verses and all that. And yeah, man, that was verses for today. Who would you like to see you know go to the next round of you know South Africa's greatest hip hop artist of all time? Would you like to see Zubs or would you like to see Golden Shovel for this one? Be sure to vote either on the comment section below or simply log on to our website, which is www.wayasthebeef.co.za. And yeah, man, for more substance in a Abundance, be sure to log on to our website which is 
You know what I'm saying? Um, do uh, like us on Facebook. We are Where's the Beef. Follow us on Twitter. We are at Where's the Beef. And if you'd like to know the deal, be sure to catch Miss Gabby on Fresh from the Grill. And yo, man, um, as for me, I am the overrides, the Where's the Beef butcher that controls the hype. And I'll catch you on the flip. Word up.